If you notice anything unusual around your neck or if you're concerned about a possible growth, please watch this video. Hi, I'm Dr. Thomas Ho. Today I will be discussing the common causes of neck lumps. So any lumps occurring from just below your jawline down to your collarbone that feels abnormal to the touch, it's lumpy, it's hard, it's painful, you should seek attention uh, immediately. So essentially when you have a neck lump that you are concerned about, you should firstly see a doctor, perform a history and examination, to a certain where this lump is located. Depending on where the lump is in your neck, will give a hint as to the underlying cause. This will then be followed by some investigations, such as a blood test, and more importantly, some imaging such as an ultrasound or CT scan or MRI scan. Causes of neck lumps is actually very broad ranging. Um, they can be generally classified under congenital lumps or inflammatory lumps or neoplastic lumps. For congenital lumps, these are lumps that probably existed when you were young but only presented itself much later on in young adulthood. Inflammatory lumps, lumps that arise as a result of either infection or reaction uh, and these are generally um, much more short-lived. When it comes to neoplastic lumps, this can be further divided into benign or cancerous lumps. Benign lumps, again, can present over a short period of time, but generally do not have the potential to spread and cause death, as opposed to cancerous lumps, which, as you know, uh, will spread throughout the body. The treatment would really depend on what the underlying cause of the lump is. So if this is a, it also, also depends on the symptoms that it's causing. So if you have a lump that is enlarging, causing discomfort, it's causing a compression on vital structures in your neck, such as your vessels, your airway, your esophagus, this will need to be treated as soon as possible. If this lumps cancerous or undetermined, Again, this root should be treated as well to establish the true nature of this lump. I guess the short answer is no. We should have a healthy lifestyle to start with, and that would mean not smoking, not vaping, uh, no alcohol, because these are known to be risk factors for neck cancers. Other than that, just having a greater awareness of possible lumps in your neck and knowing when to see a doctor uh, when you detect them is always the best way to treat them.